Hello everyone, Ruby here, and today I'd like to showcase a game um, on the Lenovo Legion Go. The game is called Solo Leveling Arise. Uh, it's fr uh, from an anime called Solo Leveling, which is from a manual light novel of the same name. And so um, this is what the game looks like on the Lenovo Legion Go. Um, I'll start by showing my um, Lenovo Le Legion Go settings. As you can see, I'm running at 1200p, 60 hertz. I'm also running in performance mode um, off of battery power, so that's 20 watt CDP. And my OS power mode is on efficiency. And so I'll go ahead and start the game. Now the game is um, by Netmarble. Netmarble makes a bunch of mobile and PC games. Um, my favorite of which is um, Nino Kuni Crosswalls. I played that uh, a while back, about a year or two ago, and I and I um, enjoyed it a lot. Now, as you can see, even though this is the PC client, it still has elements of um, the mobile game itself. Now, the cool thing with the PC client is that it doesn't have the mobile control scheme on it. Um, it uses controllers. In this case, since you're using a handheld PC, it's going to use the controller here. And so this is the main screen itself, or the hub for the game. Okay, and I'll go ahead and get into a mission so you guys can see how it works. And you can still use the touchscreen elements too, if you want to. And so I can either use this to scroll or I can use my finger to swipe up and down. And so from here, oh, well, let's see, let me grab this real quick. This one's done. Okay, that one's done. Okay, I can go back now. Okay, I can interact. I can see it has the buttons for the control, like the A. You can talk to this fellow over here. Okay, acquired stones from him. And like most mobile games, there's a ton of different types of currencies. And this game is also a gacha game, similar to like Genshin Impact and stuff like that. Or in, you can either play a lot to gain in-game currency to make pools for cards and stuff, or you can spend real money at the shop if you choose to. Now, let's try and get into a mission. There we go. Okay, that one's completed. Let me get that real quick. There we go. And let's, okay. Let's grab this here real quick. Oh, I use this on the pad then. There we go. Okay, no, not that one. Okay. There we go. Now, from here, you can take a look at the different um, things in the game, like gates, like just like the anime, you can play the story and stuff like that. I'll go ahead and do one of the story elements. And to finish chapter two, I'll go ahead and play chapter three. And there's also a side chapter two. So let's let's do chapter three and see what's in there. We'll do one of the missions in there. I can see what the reward is. I'm gonna hit start. Now you can use your joysticks or you can even use the mouse pad if you want to switch. That's one of the benefits there with a handheld PC. You can always switch back and forth and it gets the input method you want to use. I'll put up the volume a little bit so you guys can hear it. Hey Gina, you going to school? You're awake? I woke up a while ago. Be careful on your way to school. Uh, Gina? For those who have seen the anime, this scene is um, it's pretty familiar. So I'll go ahead and skip it so we can get to the nitty gritty, the um, fighting part or the combat elements of the game. Okay. 
Okay, we'll go ahead and start that part, which is a C rank section here. Let's see, can we add one more person? Yes, we can. We'll go ahead and add this guy in there. And add to a team. And we'll go ahead and enter. And from this screenshot here, or this load screen, um, a lot of people who've watched the anime remembers what, exactly what that is. We'll go ahead and skip that part real quick. Get into formation. Okay, and this is this is what it looks like. So we have a mini boss. Oh, I didn't dodge in time. And that's dead. I got an S rank on that mission there, and this are the rewards. Okay, we'll go ahead and start the Magic Beast in Darkness. Grab all the essence stones, we'll split them between the nine of us. And so, I'll not spoil the story for those who hasn't watched the anime or read the light novel, but this part is a piv piv pivotal part in the story itself. I'll go ahead and skip that so you guys don't, I don't um, spoil anything for any viewer watching this video, or anyone watching this video who hasn't seen um, the anime there. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. There we go. I'll we'll go ahead and start it. We'll play one more. That's our team right there. <laughs> Looks fun. Any and this enemy is here really easy though. And so the reason why that screen came up is because I have one of the back buttons of my Lenovo Legion Go act as a, my start select button also, so sometimes I accidentally triggered it. some damage that's so my rank is on this one here oh triple s but i didn't win within 75 seconds and i also didn't take i took too much damage too but uh what the reason why i got the ss is the time how quickly i finished oh, wait no actually i'm not sure if it's the time though but eh, it's all good And so like most gacha games, it has a leveling system, a get crafting and upgrade system also with all kinds of different currencies and materials and stuff like that. So. Sometimes it takes days to explore the inside. 
I'm gonna skip this so I don't spoil the story at all. Well, this is essential to the game, though. And um, as you play, you can also switch to different support characters using your D-pad. And I'll do that in a minute. And she can perform hills and stuff like that. Another mini boss. Got a break in. And so there's certain abilities that your characters have that um, on bosses or mini bosses, you can once they have once you deplete their break bar, you can um, stun them temporarily. And so that's what I did there. Okay, there we go. It's done. Oh, I got all three objectives on that one there. Oh, I missed that there. There we go. An actual boss fight. Dead. And that's it. Uh, Bring the light over this way. Okay, I'm gonna skip the story part again. I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> this is <gasps> holy crap. Yeah, this is all part of the story also. Worth. Yeah, let me skip it. <laughs> so this bastard's the dungeon. Yeah, I got all three also, which is pretty good. And so the story um, portion of this game follows the story. Uh, whereas you also have other activities you can do, like you can go through different types of gates that have different difficulties and rewards also. 
so I just unlocked crafting, so that's good. And fusion. And I think I also unlocked an event. Yep, I did it. Yeah, there we go. And so I'll go ahead and exit there. And so that's it really. That's the game in a nutshell. Like I said, there are different things in which you can do. Um, I can you can check the rewards. Um, I just completed a few things here. Let me see. Was it this one? Okay, it wasn't this one. And this uh, the current rankings. I'm not sure if this if this is regional rankings or global rankings. That I do not know. I just started playing a game yesterday. But essentially, this is the game in a nutshell. Um, solo leveling arise. Um, on PC, this is the PC client, and I'm playing on my Lenovo Legion Go. Uh, if you guys are interested in picking this up, you can um, type in Soul Leveling Arise or go to NetNavel and download the client to install the game itself. And that's it, guys. Um, happy gaming, everyone. Roby out. Peace.